about does he think Obama is a prototype antichrist individual? Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Hello, friends. This is Alex Jones. I've told you for a long time it's important to be self-sufficient. And today, that's more important than ever. We need to be independent, and food and water is the key. You'll never have to stand in a bread line if you have your own bread. You'll never have to go to the Superdome and beg for FEMA to take care of your family in any emergency if you simply prepare. No one is going to take care of your family in the final equation but you. You know eFoodsDirect.com is still able to ship storable food that's safe from E. coli, salmonella, genetic alteration, or Chinese imports. And they do it at almost half the cost of last year's grocery prices. Call 1-800-409-5633 or on the web go to eFoodsDirect.com. Visit eFoodsDirect.com and look over the fine list of high-quality, freeze-dried, and dehydrated foods they have to offer. Watch the free videos, look at their online catalog, or give them a call at 1-800-409-5633. Again, 800-409-5633 or on the web at eFoodsDirect.com. Take action today. The first step is getting storable food. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Coming up in about seven, eight minutes, we're going to have Russell Means, the L.A. Times described as the most famous American Indian since Sitting Bull and Crazy Horse. Go over a whole host of issues with him. Coming up right now, we're talking to Mark Dice. Doing a great job out there exposing the globalist. Uh, a few minutes on Obama. I mean, he's gone back on every promise. He's openly run by the globalist. He is promising the people he's going to help him when all he's bringing is tyranny. And he does it so sincerely that you can see an evil leer to the smile. Uh, this is not going to end well uh, because when all that comes is pain and suffering, some people are going to become even more cult-like following him, saying, you didn't do what he said. That's why things are bad. But a lot of his other followers, they're gonna they're gonna flip out. I mean, how do you see this unfolding? Your your view on Obama and the whole phenomenon? Well, it's it's coming crumbling down to some people that have a discerning view. But Obama is the ultimate, uh, you know, antichrist figure. I'm not saying he's the antichrist from the Bible. A more accurate term really is a counterfeit Christ, and not that he's uh, overtly against. Christ or against Jesus. He's, an, he's, he's a the, prototype antichrist, and there are many antichrists, because he comes as a savior when he's a Judas goat and a betrayer. Go ahead. Yeah, and you know, you have people at these town hall meetings the other day asking him not to just change policy to help certain issues or, or segments of society, but to asking, they're asking him, can you get me a job? Can you get me a kitchen? Can you get my benefits? And so he's, he's this ultimate counterfeit Christ, similar to Hitler. Hitler was a, was a counterfeit Christ, Antichrist figure, where to a certain segment of the population he had saved Germany, but then there's this other certain minority group that's preventing him from, from really helping society, and so he puts all the blame off onto them. And so it's going to be very difficult. Uh, people, people like this audience, we're going to be demonized by the Obama worshipers as we're the problem because we didn't go along with with the, the Christ Obama, and and we're the the reason that the economy continued to collapse. So, you know, I'm not an expert on the economy, but I, I do look at the experts at at Peter Schiff and at Gerald Salente, uh, you know, at the International Forecaster, and what they're saying is happening is is really going to be a bad thing. And you can just look at pretty much the opposite of whatever Obama says is going to happen or he's going to do is what he's going to do. You know, the, he, he says that uh, he's going to save the economy while he's going to destroy the economy. He, he says during the campaign that he was against illegal wiretapping, uh, and then he voted for uh, immunity for the wiretapping. So you can pretty much take whatever, uh, whatever they say they're going to do. And, and then he says he's going to shut it. down the torture camps, but it says they'll look at it in a year, but they're going to keep renditions and secret camps. Yeah, it, it, you know, never before in the history of the United States, maybe even the world, have we had a figure that is so 
so adorized by the the media and by the people. Yeah, that's it. It's it's that they're positioning him as George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Jesus all in one, literally transposing his face with famous people, just saying, he is God, do what he says. But all he is is a wet blanket on the fires of liberty and resistance and rebellion to the New World Order crime syndicate. He's just meant to stall the people long enough. When they're done with Obama, they are going to tear him apart, but then blame it all on him, just like they did on Bush. You know, KRS One had a had a fantastic analogy for this, and he he used the analogy of a, of a McDonald's or Burger King manager seeming to be the man that's in control that that makes all the decisions, and that's really what Obama is: is he's just the manager, he's the figurehead working for uh you know for the Bilderberg Group, for really ultimately the Illuminati and the, and the globalists, and so he's the man that that is the picture of the of the the face the one who makes all the decisions when really he's nothing more than a, a spokesman and i'm sure that most of the population thinks that we when he comes out to a public rally and speaks they think that he's just talking just like me and you are talking now just off the top of his head because they don't show the teleprompters on the television very rarely so they don't show the that everywhere he goes it's the exact same speech scripted down to going oh ma'am oh and just all the acting exactly yeah, they don't know that they have these teleprompters out there. There's three teleprompters, even when he's publicly speaking. So he's not speaking. He's reading, reading off the teleprompter. The Resistance Manifesto, available at Infowars.com and MarkDice.com. Hope you'll get the book and spread the word and get it out to folks, ladies and gentlemen. Mark Dice, great having you on. You got it. Power to the Resistance. Take care. Power to the Resistance. Here we go. We'll be right back with Russell Means. Right now, the world is a scary place. It's only a matter of time until we are struck again, but this time with biological and chemical attacks. The thought is scary, but it's important to hope for the best and prepare for the worst. The First Line Defense Kit allows you to do just that. The First Line of Defense Kit includes Nutri-Immune and Nutri-Defense, providing top biological host defenses against pathogen entry and provides immune NK killer cell boosting. Also included, the Nanomask Nanoparticular Antiviral Masks with replacement filters, providing supreme viral protection from airborne pathogens. And the first line of defense wipes allows non-toxic viral and bacterial pathogen killing power on all surfaces. The first line defense kit is available now by calling 888-212-8871. That's 888-212-8871. Or order online at NutraMedical.com. That's N-U-T-R-I Medical.com. Your source for the most powerful nutraceuticals and wellness protocols from a doctor you can trust. A day unlike any other in the long course of American history, a terrorist act of war against this country. The enemy struck America on September 11th. But who is the enemy? Bin Laden. This is his MO. We have to look to the Middle East. We have to look to Osama bin Laden. Fabled Enemies is the first 9-11 film to take a close look at the terrorist ties to intelligence networks inside the United States. Some U.S. investigators believe that there are Israelis again very much engaged in spying in and on the U.S. I'm aware that uh, some Israeli citizens have been detained. Bin Laden's connections to the CIA, the hijackers' ties to the FBI, the Saudi Arabian connection, the Israeli Israeli intelligence network, warnings and war games, the shadow government, and much, much more. Fabled enemies. Get the DVD at InfoWars.com or see it in super high quality, along with hundreds of other titles at PrisonPlanet.tv. Either you are with us or you are with the terrorists. More than 700 chemicals have been found in our drinking water. And did you know that you have greater exposure to these chemicals while taking hot showers than when drinking the water? That's because many chemicals are inhaled when they evaporate and others are absorbed into the skin. The KDF Dual Media Shower Filter works with both hot and cold water and it's designed to reduce chlorine, lead, mercury, and iron and it inhibits the growth of bacteria, mold, algae, and fungus. The KDF Dual Media Shower Filter typically lasts 10,000 gallons or one year, whichever comes first. Hospitals, restaurants, and water treatment facilities use this media to reduce chlorine, iron, heavy metals, and bacteria. What about you? Order your KDF Shower Filter normally, $49 for our special price of only $39.99 with free shipping. Call the Berkey Guy and order now by calling 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653 or simply click on the banner at GCNlive.com to order online now. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. 
You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. He really is a man who needs no introduction, Russell Means. Just an amazing life, and didn't like to talk about himself, but uh, he is what the L.A. Times.